Hi, I'm Tim Ray Jeff. Boy, it seems like when I talk with people about casting, at some point the elbow, the use of the elbow comes up in the conversation. And I would say for really short casts, boy, you don't need to worry about what your elbow's doing. Heck, you could cast with just a flick of your wrist and get out there for most short trout situations. But when you're trying to cast farther, or if you're struggling with a good, smooth acceleration, I tell people elbow, what you do with your elbow will help you throw a better cast. Basically, if you don't use your elbow at all and you're making a longer stroke, at some point the rod tip wants to drop behind you. I exaggerated in that particular cast, but what I would recommend you do, especially on your longer casts, is when the rod hits noon on your back cast, get a little elbow lift. The way to check to see if that's actually happening in your cast is hold your hand flat, come up, and let your elbow lift off of your hand. Some people recommend, and these are very famous casting instructors, that you use your elbow right off the bat. By moving your elbow, I'm using a lot of my shoulder right off the bat. It gives me a nice high back cast, but I don't think that's optimal. I prefer to tell people to bend and then lift. That allows me to throw a nice high back cast. It allows me to lengthen my casting stroke for those longer casts. Gives me a really strong mechanical arm position. So the next time you want to kind of think about what kind of elbow lift you're going to use, bend when the rod hits noon, get a little elbow lift. I think it'll help your back cast, which helps your forward cast. For more tips like this, go to echoflyfishing.com.